On this channel, we deal with a lot of lithium batteries in tools. We also deal with them in cars and in portable power stations. Lithium batteries in tools are going to be a normal lithium ion. Those are going to be good to be charged somewhere around 500 cycles. When we get to the portable power stations, we've normally said look for lithium iron phosphate, which is what this battery is. This is a 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, 62 pounds. Now this dude is really meant for RVs and that's what we're going to install this in today and go over what it takes to really change your RV from lead acid to lithium iron phosphate and the advantages and disadvantages of doing so. The reason we're doing this upgrade is to power our residential fridge and anything else that the inverter is tied to inside the camper. As far as your camper, that might vary between outside fridges or different power outlets next to the bed. The big deal here for us is getting longer periods of runtime off the inverter for our refrigerator. Each lead acid deep cycle battery in our fifth wheel was 64 amp hour, and that would last us about two days with the refrigerator running. When we put these new batteries in, of course, they're gonna be about the size of two lead acid batteries, but have the amp hour rating of three. First thing you wanna check is, will this battery physically fit inside your RV? This is a large battery, it is 200 amp hour, so it's a little bit bigger than even two lead acid batteries that you might have in there at the current time. But this battery here is probably going to be more amp hour than the two lead acid batteries that you have. It's labeled on the outside as 200 amp hour, but the reality is on the inside there is a BMS, or a battery management system, that is going to regulate how this battery will work. So there is a 10% reserve in this battery to save it from overcharging and undercharging per that BMS. And this is going to actually leave this with a 180 amp hour battery. So when you're looking at these, make sure you really understand how many amp hour you're getting based on the internal controls. When you're changing these batteries over, make sure you turn off all your inverters. Make sure the RV is completely unplugged from shore power. There's no way you want any of that power coming backwards and getting you in a bad situation. When nothing is connected, make sure you install the converter or your battery charger before anything else gets connected. And the reason we're installing this new battery charger is because it has a lithium algorithm for charging the battery. It's also going to increase the charging volts from 13.9 to around 14.5. The maximum that we can take as far as voltage on the batteries we have is 14.8. You cannot put this in series or in parallel with lead acid batteries. And realistically, you're going to want to put this in series or parallel with the same battery. So you have the same battery management system that is taking over in running both batteries. With all that in place, you can put the new batteries in, connect everything up, and make sure that you have everything secure. That is very important. Check the metal thickness of everything that you're putting these batteries on. Make sure that it can hold that 60 some odd pounds that's gonna be bouncing around back there. Now, when we're testing the charger, we're making sure that we're getting the right voltage throughout. We're checking how things work as far as when the inverter is running. We found that we're gonna run somewhere between 13.5 volts-ish and 13.3 with everything running. And it's gonna take us somewhere around eight hours to charge both batteries with the 60 watt charger. Now we can get upwards of six days now on our refrigerator just off these two batteries. And I think that is what's most important. And that is why you're going to spend the money on these batteries. Basically here, we have six lead acid batteries on the inside, but we have the charging cycle that will let us charge these batteries 2,500 plus times. So this is going to last us much longer than six lead acid batteries. That is the cool spot. This is an easy thing to do. And if you're into tools or anything like that, you're gonna see that these lithium based batteries are going to be much better and last much longer. Keep the heat down. Only downside is you can't charge them at anything below negative 10 degrees. So you make sure that you don't charge at that point in time. So if you're storing it outside in the winter, just disconnect them and leave them sit there. As always, give us a like in the video, comments below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.